right guys so today i'm gonna be pressure washing this bad boy it is pretty dirty he's a dirty dog right now and i, I need to I need to get this guy cleaned up um, i'm also gonna open up the cab here and lift the cab i haven't done that yet since i got the machine it's probably pretty nasty in there uh, you can see on the sides you know, dirt can actually get in there through these so i'm gonna try and fabricate some uh, covers for those and see, see what I can come up with but uh, I'm expecting it to be nasty under there so we'll, we'll check it out uh, see how it looks and we'll, we'll get it all cleaned up all right let's just get to it <laughs> Oh man, getting through it slowly. So I'm still cleaning the track loader. Uh, it's another day. It's been raining for weeks, so I couldn't get out here and finish it. But it's a nice day, so I'm gonna finish it up. Uh, I am gonna change out these filters, or at least clean them and check them out. I haven't checked the filters yet. I've, I've dumped this one before, but not this one. I think there's a filter in here. Looks looks like there is. I mean, you got the drops. You know where it drops all the dust when you squeeze it. I'm not sure what you call that. Uh, just a little vent there. And then looks like there's a, another element in here. There is these clips that you just kind of pop out um, and they come off. There's a bunch of them. So I'm going to take those off and see what's underneath. And we'll, we'll clean them out. So I'll get everything cleaned out. I'm going to wash this all out. Still got a bunch of gravel in the back there. And then I'll pressure wash it. Um, clean it up good. Uh, I'm going to wrap a few hoses in here to protect it. Uh, maybe spray some um, anti-rust paint on some of the spots where the paint's coming off. And close her up and get going on the outside. Still pretty dirty. Probably one of the dirtiest track loaders or skid steers you've ever seen. Um, I'm shocked at how much material is on in the inside. Actually, look at all this. It's a big pile here. And all this material here was all, all on the inside. I mean, it was about five inches deep of material it's crazy I can't believe it was actually still going with that much material packed into the, the hydraulic compartment there so all right we'll get going okay so I opened this up and there is no filter looks like it's just the AC condenser in there you kind of see that and it's actually really clean um, I'm surprised how clean it is so I'm just going to open this up, clean this out, and I'll go from there. Uh, it's not bad. You know, I thought 
this would be dirtier, dirtier than it is. I mean, it's actually pretty clean for how much we ran it. That's nice. I and mean, you can see it's, there is some dirt in there. I mean, you can actually hear it, but the backside is clean, which it's doing its job. Oh, made in the USA, that's rare. Much better now. I mean, there's still a little bit left, but I'm gonna pressure wash it. So some of it will come out a lot cleaner. I mean, that was about, I mean, it was packed up to here. So you can see how far it is about five, six inches. That's insane. So the flaw on these cats, you can see that entry point where the hoses come in is where a lot of gravel and dirt uh, will come in. So that's something I'm gonna have to look at and I'm gonna see if I can find a piece of rubber where I can kind of shove in there and uh, block the hole and keep stuff from coming in so I don't have to wash this out too often. All right, I'm gonna get to pressure washing. It is pretty dirty. You can see, I mean, probably the dirtiest skid steer you've ever seen. I mean, it was packed and I, I pulled some mud out of there already and that thing is just packed in there. I mean, <laughs> All right, let's get to pressure washing. I got the Troy Bill. It's got a Honda motor on it. Uh, it's been working pretty good for me for the past few years. So let's get her started up and see what she can do. All right, so one thing you want to remember when you're running a pressure washer or a chainsaw or anything like that, you want to wear ear protection, especially if it's going to be a, a long period of time. For a few minutes, not a big deal, but because it's going to take me a while, uh, I'm going to wear ear protection. And you can see how dirty it is. Got the inside done. And we'll get the pressure washing on the outside. So the inside looks pretty good. See the hydraulic motor is really nice. All the hoses look clean. There was some corrosion on the hoses down below, but I got most of it off, which is nice. All right. Okay, so time for finishing up the outside and we'll see how far we get. 
Uh, should be able to get this done. I'm gonna do the engine compartment as well. Show you guys that. Actually, let's do that right now since on the, it's on the inside. You gotta be careful with this. Don't wanna get the electronics too much. Okay, so almost done. I got it uh, fresh washed pretty good. All I'm gonna do is put all this back down, move it back a little bit and clean it up and kind of get it out of the mud here. And once I get the cab down, I can fresh wash all that up there and finish it up. And then I'll let it dry out and then I'll wrap some hoses. I'll show you guys that process. And then we'll go from there.
All right. So I got it down. I brought the bucket over here so I didn't have to go through the mud to grab it again. I want to try and keep this, this baby clean. So I got to wash it down a little bit more. You can see the mud coming off the tracks. But it's looking pretty good. Much better than it was. I'll get her finished up and we'll get her opened up again and wrap those hoses. All right, so I'm gonna wrap the hoses. So I think I think it looks like about a ton of material came off of this. So I'd say at least a ton came out of there. It was about half a bucket that was jammed in there and on the sides. So I'm just gonna call it a ton. So this is what I'm gonna wrap the hoses with. It's this stuff here. So I got two different sizes, one and three eighths, and I got three quarter inch. You can see this stuff's really good, UV resistant and it's thick so it protects it quite a uh, quite a bit i'm going to use these uh cable ties zip ties to attach them and have to cut it with so there's a couple hoses in here that need to be wrapped and they're they're kind of prone to it i read some reviews on on other people having this issue but you can see so that one's getting some wear And then there's another one. Where was it? I saw another one in here somewhere. It's getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, this one's getting a little bit of wear right here. So I might wrap, wrap that actually right there too. So I'll wrap those. I think that's it. I'll check them all really good though. This one's got a little chunk right there coming off. So maybe I'll put a little wrap on that. All right, I'll get to it. So I'm just gonna wrap the prone area. So this section here, the rest of it looks good. All right, so pretty easy to cut. And then I'm just gonna just start wrapping it. This all right. I'll protect that one too. I mean, it wraps pretty tight. I mean, you probably don't need zip ties, but just gonna do it so it doesn't move. Pretty good just to keep it away from that. And down here. So this one over oh, there it is. That's the major wear there. So I'm gonna wrap this hose here. pretty far out just to protect it so if any rocks or gravel get in there it's gonna protect that hose they all should be wrapped with this I'm not sure why just one of them is and the other ones are not and they should have wrapped all of them oh well all right I think that's 
pretty much it. This side looks good. There's a little bit of wear here. Probably wrap right there where they touch together. Okay, I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, so I'm done wrapping the hoses. So I got a bunch of them wrapped. Got this one, put a little bit on that. A couple there that are touching each other. And down here, got that one. Put some on that. And that's pretty much it. Those are all the ones that are touching each other. So this stuff's really good. Actually, it's made in Canada. Um, actually, this one's made in the U.S. But the, the other size, the bigger one, is made in Canada. Uh, not sure if it's a Canadian company or not, but great stuff. I like it. And I just use heavy-duty cable ties again. So I think that's it for this. That's how you protect the hoses. So anytime you got hoses rubbing each other, if they want to get this stuff and put some of this on there. I got it off Amazon. Uh, pretty cheap. It's really good stuff. Highly recommended. I mean, it'll protect your hoses and make it last a lot longer. All right, so that's it. You guys walk around. Looking good.